what's going on guys hope everybody's having a great day today we're going to be talking about another banger epic champion that a lot of people are probably using and if you're not using her you should be using her if you have her that is laurel laurel is an amazing epic by far one of the best epics in the game she enables so much for comps because we know how much we need that sweet rage region and that is exactly what she provides for us so if we look at her skills much of them don't matter right she obviously has a kit like every other champ in the game we'll look at her ultimate when the skill is activated restores three percent of the max rage for two random allies within range every two seconds for 12 seconds so yeah you can get some rage there but we primarily want to be using her for her talent as you can see up here increases rage region attack by one additionally upon death provides surrounding allies with a restoration of 50 percent of their rage cap so every time that she dies or every time that you remove her from the field you're gonna get 50 percent of your rage cap this is amazing pretty much everywhere everywhere in the game gear rate one gear rate two gear rate three well not gear rate two really but gear rate one gear rate three guild boss arena anywhere you're trying to get people to use their ultimate more laurel comes in handy she has a fairly low cost as well so if we you know take a look here she only costs 13 her revival time is 60 you can bring in a volka to you know drop that down a bit as well but at her awakenings i believe she gets you know a minus one of cost here at awakening three so down to 12 cost and uh yeah just an amazing champion don't even really need gear on her i think i quick equipped some gear i didn't select this stuff it's just some attack speed hps just maybe i did throw this on her just some leftover random gear right it did she does not even need gear you just need her to go in and die as quickly as possible and so we'll look at some applications of that today really quickly don't even really have an artifact on her at the moment never needed to look at an artifact for her that is how impactful she is a champ that you don't really need gear for you don't really need an artifact for at least for the level that i'm playing at maybe there's something i could throw on her that could potentially reduce i don't know her revive time but off top of my head can't think of it so let's go ahead and just see where i'm using her right now primarily using her in arena so we have the aoe dps going on right now she's also very useful for me in the anti-air dps pretty much all of these except single target dps i'm not using her a ton there um, sustain dps maybe not a ton there either but as far as aoe dps as you can see she's ranked 10 so ranked higher than you know even you know arrogance valeria some other strong legos obviously vierna is number one i am using a vierna myself all of these teams look pretty strong very hard to beat severus teams with the account that i have but let's see if we, we take a, a a stab at at one of these guys and see if we can win so this is the team we're running we have a dolores we have a vierna we have a laurel volca for revive time and we've got our boy razak in there surprisingly now i don't know that we win i'm not even going into this saying we win but i'm just going to show you the benefit of using laurel if you're not using laurel at this point like i'm right on the cusp of overlord arena so all of the teams are rather strong and we're just gonna yeah they're getting you know their chance of getting down way faster than ours hard to beat hat suit teams but we're gonna try it anyway we're actually going to drop Razak first this time. We're not even going to drop our Vienna first just because their hat suit already killed everybody. And we're going to try and yeah, we get it in time. So we do beat them in time there. All right. So we get the first round. The first round was not that important to win, but you really want to be going for your placement of champs. What we're going to do here is we're going to go in. We're gonna quickly boost, drop our Dolores there, and we come back around to our ultimate very fast. Can we one shot? Ah, uh, they beat us. It was it was so close. It's like way too close for comfort. But okay, now we are losing here. We can drop our our Vierna. 
down now. I don't really want her there. Don't really want her here. It's kind of awful placement. Didn't want to have to use Raz, um, but we'll put her here. That way, when we drop uh, the our Laurel, we'll drop her here at this tile. Boost our attack really quickly. We have to do this very quick. Yeah, they have all ground team right now. We don't have any cost. We don't even have enough cost. Boost Vienna real quick. See if we can't snatch it from them. Let's go. But they probably almost won anyway. We don't even. Yeah. It wasn't even worth it. It wasn't worth it. But you can see how Laurel works. So she's boosting your rage region. Um, very effective. And we probably take the L here. This is a, a pretty strong team to go against. So don't even know that I'm going to waste any more time. I don't think Roz is going to one shot this wave. They're pretty much very well protected on this other side here. They're not really letting anything through. Yeah, we don't one shot. Our Vienna is not coming back around. We got 10 whole seconds. We are going to be dying very soon. And they probably already clear everything anyway. Exactly. They clear it before. So obviously, you know, not showing a victory is not what most people want to see. But we're here to talk about Laurel, right? Can't beat them all. But we're very close here. My champions aren't the strongest. Um, maybe if we go in and not try to win at first. But that's a pretty strong team. I haven't, you know, been able to beat anybody who comes in with, like, you know, ground units in um some of these other teams you see using laurel as well these teams with severus also pretty tough to beat uh but yeah that is how she works in arena just to you know boost your rage now if we go into you know gear rate one or gear rate three you can see how my teams work and how we are swapping laurel in and out so i'll go ahead and just do a run quickly i'm not going to turn power of dominance off but we will go in and use Laurel and see how she can boost our rage region. So we're going to drop our Idril down. We're going to drop our Dolores here. Laurel is going to be going here. She's going to be boosting rage for the both of them. And so as soon as they, you know, get their region up, I could drop Laurel down now to just boost them up to max and we just take it from the top. So why not do that? Let's just let's just do that just to show how she's boosting for us. Go ahead and drop our hex right here and as you see idril's just going ham because we got that rage boost from laurel so uh we don't even need vierna in here i'm gonna wait maul's gonna come over here next and Roz is gonna go over here on the side but we'll wait a moment as you can see laurel's back again we'll go ahead and boost our rage now and we need to drop our maul over here. Just waiting on Idril. Let's drop our, uh, 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 not drop rods yet. So we're going to go ahead and pop Idril. Pop Dolores. Maul doesn't need to pop his ult just yet. Let's get some heals over here and then drop rods down over there so he can take out this side. And Laurel will be back. We got our cost down. Let's go ahead and boost our region again. As you can see, Dolores is fairly low. We go ahead and drop her out. Boom, we get 50% back. We can drop Arrogance right here in the middle just to give us some more damage in the middle. Take Roz out because we're going to need him later. And um, as you can see, Dolores is already back exactly where she needs to be. So take that. And the boss is almost dead. We go ahead and pop Idril just because she's going to take that out. And Ross should be back 15 seconds. We'll drop him down to take this out over here. Drop Laurel down. Get that boost back. And you don't have to wait until the ult is finished to drop her. All right. You can do it while the ult is happening. Drop Roz over here. Let him get his ult. One thing I really like about Razak is that. He pops his ult very quickly after being deployed. So as you can see, Laurel boosting us there. Amazing champion. Um, and she, you know, as far as I know, does not need any gear. Does not need, you know, she doesn't really need anything. on. And like I said before, you can, you know, go ahead and take her out. Drop her in. Take her out fairly quickly while the ult is going on. You do not have to wait until the ultimate is finished to get that bonus rage region from her talent so that is 
you know, that's her. Easy champ to build. I don't have any artifact or I have nothing on her there. And yeah, hopefully, you know, this was helpful to someone who's not using their Laurel, has not seen the benefit of having a Laurel. Um, I'm not using her in my guild balls at the moment. I was testing some out there, but we're not getting quite enough Rage Regen. I don't have a Hollow yet. So hoping to get a Hollow soon and really help boost my damage there because we're getting so close to getting top chest on Nightmare 3. Would love to get that. So we're at 14 thousand blood at the moment um and we did do a test with laurel boosting but it didn't quite didn't quite push us over that edge of where we already were so that is laurel guys like i said before hopefully it helps out thank you for watching again be sure to subscribe to the channel and until next time be good and be well